Good day. Our topic for today is all about evacuation of our AC unit. In this case, you need to follow the previous video. It's because last video is pressure test and there is a pressure almost 5 bars because we need to pressure test to access or to check the leaks if there is any leaks but in our case we don't have leaks and we need to release the pressure the gas that we, uh, are, using, uh, we are using is nitrogen for pressure testing need to release that pressure and then we start a evacuating this system almost zero has a error about 0.5 bars it's okay our gauge has error uh, 0.5 bars but it's okay connect the correct the hose and then that yellow hose is connected to the suction of the vacuum pump and this charging valve need to half open and half close it's because okay this is the diagram for our, our system compressor condenser this is the valve that i mean liquid, uh, liquid valve charging expansion valve evaporator this is the four main components gas side but we have we don't have any isolation valve for our suction or gas side suction for our compressor at the top gas side below is the liquid condenser and then this is the charging valve for liquid the main point is half open or half close so that this valve is three way open this port open also open this port uh, open all ports of this three way the situation is the theory or principle about evacuation is to remove air or non -con uh, non -con uh, uncondensables on this system that's why we need to evacuate this system that is the, pur uh, the purpose of evacuation the system to remove the moistures and air or non-condensable uncondensable the theory is you need to vacuum the system connect to the liquid side or the gas side or both side common and then use this vacuum pump and then after you reach vacuum pressure you can pressure test using vacuum Okay, let's start the vacuum pump. We already connect the yellow hose and then start. You need to observe your pump if the pump is working properly. Okay, our pump is working properly and check the pressure. Okay, the pressure starts to go down because we start the vacuum uh, we start the is vacuum pump at, at zero zero bars 30 to 1 hour vacuum this system it is good as long as it reaches the vacuum pressure example for us it's 0.5 good because this is a small system 32 a uh, 15 to 30 minutes or 45 minutes is good okay the pressure is starts to go down about 0.5 before we start there is a difference about our pressure gauge 0.5 for now the gauge is uh, negative uh, negative 0 0.5 okay maybe that uh, we will compensate the error it means our pressure for this system is almost 0.8 just continue and then after that achieving the we already achieved the vacuum pressure and we need to continue so about 15 to 30 minutes and then we need to close the valve okay after securing the valve all valves we need to observe if the vacuum pressure is 
changing if there is a changes of, of the vacuum pressure it means there is a leak and also this is called a uh, pressure test using negative pressure okay we are done in evacuating our system please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates thank you for following us always